Hi, I'm Michael Bunting, author of The Mindful Leader. I work as a consultant in the area of mindfulness and leadership. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about what mindful leadership is about and what I'm offering in this area. The first thing is mindful leadership is the kind of leadership that's conscious, aware, it's committed to well-being for ourselves and others, and it's committed to really increasing engagement. So if you're in, in an organizational context and you lead mindfully, you're going to have people who love working with you, who love working at your organization. And if you lead mindfully at home, your children will be more connected with you, your wife, spouse, husband will be more connected with you. So a lot of people ask me, what's mindfulness got to do with leadership? So Mindfulness is a fantastic practice for stress and for well-being, so bringing resilience to your system. Now, that's easy enough to link to leadership. Of course, we need more resilient leaders uh, and leaders less stressed, but that's actually not necessarily what makes you a better leader. So it, that argument that if you're, if you're more resilient and less stressed makes you a better leader is not necessarily accurate. In fact, I know some real mindfulness experts who are not great leaders. Mindful leadership is about bringing the skill of mindfulness into the discipline practices of mindfulness. It's not enough just to say, oh, I'll be mindful and then I'll be a better leader. So you need to understand the skill sets of leadership and then you need to understand how mindfulness intersects with those skill sets. So let me give you one example. Uh, a key leadership behavior is to walk the talk. We all know this, we want leaders to walk the talk, but the, the data shows us that only 57%, this is very recent data, 32,000 people were surveyed, only 57% of us believe that our boss, our direct boss, actually walks the talk. Uh, what's really interesting is very few of people I meet would say, oh yeah, I know I don't walk the talk, but more or less half of us don't. What mindfulness does as a practice is it kind of shows ourselves to ourselves in real time. So it's the practical application of self-awareness. So if I'm out of sync with my values, for example, and I'm mindful, my mindfulness will tell me. It'll tell me in the tension in my body. It'll tell me by the kind of thinking I've got going, like it could be aggressive thinking or, or denial or rationalization. So mindfulness brings an acute awareness to what you're up to in any given moment. It's the self-regulating, self-awareness aspect of it. And if you understand it in the context of, let's say, walking the talk, it can be a very, very powerful tool. But if you're just generally mindful and you're not bringing your mindfulness to specific aspects of your leadership, it's a bit of a hit and miss. So what I teach uh, in my programs, my book, is how to bring mindfulness into the very specific disciplines of leadership and how mindfulness makes, uh, allows you to practice them so much more easily, so much more efficiently, let yourself, uh, not let yourself down as much and get the very best out of yourself in your life. In summary, what I'm really saying is that Mindfulness is a very important skill, it's like a base foundation of leadership, but the two have to be integrated. Leading without mindfulness is probably going to be a huge hit and miss because you're not actually going to have enough awareness to regulate your behavior. And then, of course, just, just practicing mindfulness doesn't necessarily make you a good leader. It's, it's a little bit like saying, oh, I'll be more mindful and I'll be a better swimmer. You might be a calmer swimmer, but you won't be a better swimmer. Mindfulness is a crucial practice within the context of really well-researched, clear leadership practices. And together, they're a really powerful combination. So my work is a combination of very well-researched leadership theory and practice, 30 years of it. I happen to work with Jim Cousins and Barry Posner, really famous leadership authors, five million people on the database, and 23 years of disciplined mindfulness practice and teaching corporate people who can tend to be cynical at times and are smart, teaching them the integration of the two in a way that really makes a difference. It's clear, it's practical, it's tangible. And I've got a whole range of resources that I've created specifically to create an environment and a discipline flow where you can learn to become a mindful leader uh, both at work and at home and, and make a radical change, a radical improvement to your life. You'll be so much happier, so much more effective uh, and so much more uh, fulfilled in your life.